Hi guys, so welcome back here at the EC Engineering Tutorials. So this time is we're going to explore uh, mode 8 in uh, mode 8 in Canon F789 SGA. Okay, so to do that, uh, let's have an example. So let's say I'm going to start from scratch. So I have this example here. So uh, find the distance between points uh, A110 and B101. So before we solve this one using our calculator, so let's solve this one first in conventional way. So to find the distance between points, so we use this distance formula that square root of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared plus z sub 2 minus z sub 1 squared. So we have this x sub 1, x sub 2, uh, x sub 1, y sub 1, and z sub 1. And then we have this x sub 2, y sub 2, and z sub 2. So if we input those values in the in the distance formula, so we have we will have square root of two, which is one point four one four two. Uh, using our Canon calculator, uh, just go to mode, then eight. Then anyway, uh, we are given with four vectors, so we just need to use two vectors here. We have this vector A and vector B. So for vector A. Uh, I'll just be needing 3. Uh, so we have also this 2 dimension and 3 dimension. Okay? Then 2 is 2 dimension, meaning x and y lang. Itong 3 is x, y, z. That's why it's 3 dimension. So we have this 1, 1, 0. So okay na yan, uh, Click cancel all or AC. Uh, go to apps. Go to dim meaning dimension and then we put uh, we select two vector b and again three dimension and then one zero and one then cancel so okay yan, eh? so alam natin yung formula is just uh, point two minus point one so therefore we have this uh, absolute of apps no okay just start and sila na tayo just click this apps and then apps uh kunin lang natin yung 3 ano no yung b no yung x sub 2 y sub 2 and z sub 2 so vector b mo na minus yung vector A. And yan yung sagot. So we have 1.4142. Okay, so another example is is uh, this one. Uh, the curve that lies in the xy plane and has a radius of 3 meters. So if a force of F equals 80 newton, acts at its end as shown ito yun. so determine the moment of this force about point B so we are, requir we are required to solve for the MX MY and MZ no? and also the N so the uh x component of the moment, the y component of the moment, the z component of the moment, and the resultant moment. So, ito yung curve rad natin. So, meron siyang radius na 3. So, kung 3 to, tsaka 3 to, ibig sabihin yung angle niya is 45 degrees. And yung point P natin is ito yan. Ito yung point A. Ito yung point C. No? And that is 1 meter. And downward 2 meter. So, ito yung x, y, and z natin. And ito yung point of the moment. Yung point on natin, no? Or let's say, yung origin na lang. 
So first is we need to solve this one in conventional before we go to uh, the calculator techniques. Na. So in first na ginagawa natin is to compute for every coordinates ng mga points. So we have this point O, say origin. And then we compute for the coordinates of point A. So we have this x3 and y3 and then 0 yung z. And then we compute for the uh, coordinates of point B. So we just take this one. It's just 3 minus yung uh, 3 cosine 45. So we have 0 0.879. Ito yan. Ito yan ang handa. Ito. Hindi ito. And then, ito naman. No? Kunin na ito. And that is 3 sine 45. So we have 2.121. And again, since yung point B is uh, dito sa plane XY, so yung Z na is 0. And then yung point C naman, we have this uh, 4, kasi meron tayong 3 plus 1, so we have 4. And then wala siyang Y, no? Kasi downward na siya agad. And that is, ito yung positive Z natin. So therefore yung downward is negative. Kaya negative 2. So okay na tayo dito, no? So, next natin gagawin dyan is uh, kukumpute natin yung uh, distance nung A to C. Okay? So, meron tayong X. We have, for example, I take point A and point C here. So, I have 3, 3, and 0, and 4, 0, and negative 2. So, I compute for this x which is 4 minus 3 I have 1 0 minus 3 I have negative 3 and z is negative 2 minus 0 so I have negative 2 so the distance is just the square root of x y and z so I have 3.742 uh, this value no? square root lang ito ok so ok na tayo dyan uh, uh, after nyan is makukuha na natin yung component ng forces 18. No? Uh, take note, dito yung force natin no? sa point A to C. So, this is a force 80 Newton. So, kailangan natin yung convert yan into vectors. So, that's why we take for Fx, Fy, and Fz. So, we have Fx over D, for Y, Y over D, for Z, Z over D. Yung D is yung na-compute natin kanina, which is itong 3.742. So, that's why we have uh, 80 times 1. So, we have this one. Huh? And so on and so forth. So, this is just based on the triangle. Huh? So, para lang, parang ano lang yan, no? Uh, F cosine theta F sine. Parang gano'n. <coughs> so, so next is, uh, meron na tayong force vector. So okay na tayo dito. Ngayon, kukumpute natin yung uh, moment arm vector. No? Kasi sa, sa moment, when we want to compute for the moment, we have this force. And then yung moment arm niya. No? Pero sa, sa vectors, uh, mauna si R. And then next si F. So ganito yung pattern pag uh, nakabiktor. Okay, so anyway. So, yung moment arm will be, kasi yung tinatanong is ano yung moment at point B caused by this load. So, bali yung moment arm natin is itong B to A. Okay? So, we take the coordinates of B and A, take their X, so we have 3 minus nito, we have 2.1. 2, 1. For y, we have 3 minus ito. So, we have 0 0.879. And z, we have 0 minus 0. So, we have 0. So, we get the square root of this one. Uh, x squared plus y squared plus z squared. 
Thus, we have 2.296. Okay na tayo dyan. Ha? Meron na tayong moment R, meron na tayong first vector. Uh, makuha na natin yung moment. So, to solve for moment, uh, so, we will be using this formula. No? So, we have this mx, mx, my, and mz. And then, we have this ijk. So, lalagay lang natin yung na compute natin na, na values. So, we have 2.121, 0.879, and then 0. And then, we have 21.38, uh, negative 64.14, and negative 42.76. So, ito na value is yun yung nakuha natin na, na dito, no? Yan. 2.121, 0 0.879, and 0. So, yun yung uh, vector arm. And then, ito naman, ito yung force vector. So, we have this one, 21.38. Diba? 21.38, negative 64.14. Uh, this pertains to J. So, laging I, J, K man yan. I, J, K. And then, we have negative 42.76. So, after that, we use this uh, basket rule. No? So, we take their uh, product. And then, we add. Add. Again, add. So, alam nyo na yung basket rule. No? So, yun dyan na alam na nila yan. So, and then, dito is minus, minus, and is minus. So, ito yung mangyayari. No? And then, we simplify this one in terms of i, j, k. So, therefore, we have this moment vector na negative 37.59 i plus 90.69 j minus 154.83 k so we can have now so okay na tayo dito no? we have this mx dito na yung mx natin m y n m z so yun na yan so, to solve for the resultant, uh, it is just square root lang yung uh, mx squared diba? plus my squared plus mz squared. So, to check for that one, we have square root of, uh, let's start from scratch here, square root of Okay, so, after dito, dito na tayo. So, we can now compute for m. So, that is just square root of mx squared, my squared, and mz squared. And therefore, we have 183.33. Okay, so, ngayon is, paano siya isolve using Canon F789 SJA. So, this is purely calculator only. Pero, preliminary na uh, preliminary na makuha natin yung mga coordinates ng A, B, and C. No? So, yun yung origin na 0, 0. So, A, B, and C. So, assuming uh, meron tayo nito. So, inigay na lang natin yan sa Canon. So, we have mode then 8, then 1, then 3, no? So, ito yung, uh, ito yung uh, x, y, z ng a. I have 3, 3, and 0. Uh, C, E, up. Then, we have this dimension. Then, we select 2, and then 1, no? So, for picture B, ito naman yung input natin, 0 0.879. 2.121 and then 0. So, okay na yan. Stored na yan. Tumatik yan. Up. Again, dimension. This time is yung point C naman. So, we have 4 and then 0 and then negative 2. So, okay na yan. Stored na yung value. Okay na ito. So, so, ngayon makukuha na natin yung moment. Okay? So, first is yung moment arm muna. So, start from B to A. Okay. From B to A. So, I have 
uh, apps nung Victor A minus nung Victor B uh, multiplied by this one, uh, this quantity. So, dito sa force naman. Uh, so, I have this uh, 80 uh, kilonewton. Yeah, merong given na 80 yan. 80 kilonewton. And then, I have this Victor C and Victor A. Uh, so, multiply ko yan sa divided by this absolute yeah. so anyway so I have 80 and then okay, yeah, no? so I have this up then Victor C minus up Victor A then dito naman sa loob ng absolute the same Victor C and Victor A and that's it so makikita natin dito na So, final result. And, so, we have this value for mx, that is uh, negative 37.59. For my, we have 90.69. For mz, we have negative 154.84. So, ngayon, paano to, no? So, we just take the absolute for that one. So, again, just click the abs, and then vector this time is yung 7 na yeah? yung vector answer kasi automatic stored dyan sa calculator natin so up abs yung vector answer and we have now 183.34 okay so if you like this video uh, consider subscribing to our youtube channel and if you want to get notified with our uh, newly uploads ng mga videos just click the notification bell and just keep watching and keep learning and see you in the next video. Thank you.